if you're like me and you don't have a ton of muscle mass, but you are also skinny fat, um, like I am, I'm skinny fat and I don't have a ton of muscle mass. So, I've said this 20 times already in this video, but I'm skinny fat and I don't have a ton of muscle mass. And if you're like me, and you have these man boobs, and you have the stomach, and you're skinny fat, I don't care. You need to bulk. When you are skinny fat, and you go on a cut, and you go on a calorie deficit, you are just going to become a smaller person, a smaller version of the skinny fat person you are. So instead of being medium sized and skinny fat, you're gonna be small and skinny fat. This is stubborn fat. This won't go away just from going on a calorie deficit. Just because you're on a cut doesn't mean you're gonna lose this stubborn fat. You may have gyno, and if you have gyno, then you've got to surgery to get rid of it. So you don't have, that's up to you if you want to do that or not. But if you are skinny fat and don't have a lot of muscle mass, and you go on a cut, you're not going to look like a skinny version of a bodybuilder, no. You're going to be, still have skinny arms, and you're still gonna have a blocky midsection. You're just going to be a smaller, skinnier version of the skinny, fat person you were. You're still going to have the same body composition. You're still gonna have the man boobs and the beer belly. Okay? You're not going to lose your love handles just from going on a cut. You're going to lose part of it, but you're not going to lose these man boobs. You're not going to lose so much stuff. And most of all, you're not going to build any muscle mass. So you're not going to, the parts of your body that are small are going to stay small. And the parts of your body that are kind of overweight looking are still going to be flabby. If your body's flabby and you want to cut, you're going to stay flabby. And if you're small, you're going to stay small. So you need to go on a bulk. You need to bulk up these arms and those legs and the shoulders and the back so you have better proportions. So you have, you're closer to the golden ratio. Um, I, it's like your back should be 1.6 times wider than your waist or something like that. You just need to build that aesthetic V taper where you have a skinnier waist and your, wat, and your lats are wider. So you need to build that V taper body that attracts women. And to do that, to build those lats, you need to bulk. So go in a bulk, build some muscle, build that back up, and build some muscle, get those proportions right before you go on a cut. So, so far I've talked about golden ratio. Um, you need a wider back with smaller waist. So to build that wide back, you need to bulk. And everything else, your shoulders. Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot to talk about shoulders. Golden ratio, you need to have a slimmer waist, not super skinny, but a smaller waist and a wide back and wide shoulders, broad shoulders. So you need to bulk to do that. Sorry, I have something in my eye. Then you can go on a cut once you build that muscle. So that's why you need to bulk. Ran out of ice, I ran out of iPhone storage, so that's why the video cut off just now. Now I'm gonna tell you how to bulk. First, step one, and this is a step-by-step -step active video. The first thing I want you to do, and do this right now, exit off of the video, come back to it when you're done, but do this right now. Go to whatever web browser you use, I'm just gonna say Google, and search up a maintenance calorie calculator. Go to that calculator, enter your details in, and it'll give you a number of how many calories a day you need to eat. Step two, go to MyFitnessPal and download it. I'll put the app link in the description for Apple, or actually no, you can find it yourself. It's not a hard, it's not a hard app to find. Just search up MyFitnessPal, it's by Under Armour. Go find the app. Eat at that maintenance level of calories for a week. So let's say you need to eat 2,700 calories a week. Eat that for one week 
four, and this is gonna be after a week, this will be after the video and everything, but after a week, see if you've gained or lost any pounds. If you've gained pounds, your maintenance is below the number. If you've lost pounds, your maintenance is higher than this number. And if you haven't gained or lost anything, this is the correct maintenance number. Either way, so I'm gonna tell you, if you, if you are eating at the maintenance number and you are gaining weight, then you're good to know you can bulk with this number. Um, but I would want to find my maintenance just so I know set in stone how many calories I should be eating to bulk. If you've not gained or lost anything, if you've stayed at the exact same weight, that is the best case scenario. You know your maintenance. This is the best case scenario. Now you know whether to add calories over your maintenance or take out calories if you're cutting. So, and if you're below, your maintenance calories are higher. So if you're eating at 2,700 and you lose weight, you're gonna have to eat more calories to maintain your weight and even more to bulk. So that's how you bulk. Find your maintenance and then eat 200 to 300 above your maintenance. Then I'm gonna add this in. Don't be lazy and eat junk food and bulk with these cheeseburgers and pizza, Costco pizza and fried chicken and hot dogs and junk. Don't bulk with that. Bulk with clean foods like potatoes, steak, chicken, um, vegetables, organic vegetables, fruits in moderation because of the sugar, but they're still really good for you. Make sure you're consuming enough protein. You want to be consuming a balanced amount of protein, carbs, and fats. Low carb diet, in my opinion, isn't good because you won't have energy. Um, low protein diet, you won't build muscle. And low fat diet, fats are healthy and you need fats, so you won't be healthy. So um, make sure you're eating enough protein I would recommend in the range of 120 grams to 180 grams a day. If you're cutting, eat more protein because you want to be able to maintain and possibly even build muscle. But if you're bulking, just try to keep it above 120. You would ideally want to have it above that. So that's all for this video. Eat healthy, or I'm gonna go ahead and just give it in the list. The three takeaways from this video, eat healthy, eat a lot, and eat enough protein. Love you all. God bless. My name is Christian and I help people improve. I help men like myself change their lives for the better and help their relationship with Jesus. But it's not me who does the relationship with Jesus. That's all Jesus. I help men improve themselves and I help young men understand or I try to tell young men that Without Jesus, you're nothing. You can be the greatest person of all time. You can be a billionaire, be jacked, um, go outside every day, meditate, journal. You can do all of the self-improvement habits and you're nothing without Jesus. I can't do anything. I'm powerless by myself. With Jesus, we can do all things. Love you all. God bless you.